everyone, and welcome to another episode of Biologic Science News. Today, I want to talk about consequences of the BP oil spill in the Caribbean, specifically from the efforts to clean up that spill. The Deepwater Horizon incident took place in 2010 and claimed the lives of 11 people. It was a massive, mobile, oil drilling platform, and it was sunk after it suffered damage caused by an explosion and the explosion was caused by a blowout after the pressure control systems failed. This explosion was massive. It created a fireball that rose into the air and could be seen from over 60 kilometers away. When the Deepwater Horizon sank, it left open the Macondo Prospect oil well, which then caused the uncontrolled release of millions of gallons of oil, creating the largest oil spill in U.S. waters. At the time, it was an economic and an environmental catastrophe, ruining the livelihoods of fishermen along the southern coast of the U.S. and the east coast of Mexico, and creating a huge dead zone where oil pooled at the surface of the water, killing almost all the animals that came into contact with it. I should clarify that when I say it was a catastrophe, it should be said that even now, in 2018, it is, to some degree, still a catastrophe. There's still fallout from this problem. Thousands of people, from members of the public to members of the Coast Guard, contributed to the cleanup efforts. They were told to use chemical dispersants to get rid of the oil, but there are reports of Coast Guard members being hesitant or afraid to use these. Now, the dispersants are arguably worse than the oil itself and the environment. There's evidence that the dispersants disrupt the natural decay process of the oil by interfering with microbes that break it down. Furthermore, the dispersants don't even really remove the oil. They bind to it and make it sink to the ocean floor. It's literally an out-of-sight, out-of-mind strategy, which completely disregards the extreme ecological consequences. With the oil now sequestered on the seafloor, it kills off the life that dwells there, like crabs, shrimp, fish, corals, and even whales, and the oil takes longer to decay. Overall, it makes the problem worse by spreading it across zones in the ecology and ensuring the pollutant lasts longer. Some one million gallons of this dispersant was dropped onto the spill via airplane, while another three quarters of a million gallons were injected into the damaged wellhead at the site of the break in the oil well. But that's not even what these members of the Coast Guard are afraid of. They were afraid of the chemicals touching them, or being inhaled or ingested, because they were outright dangerous to human beings. Studies have found that those people who worked with these dispersant chemicals had suffered numerous health problems, including rashes on their skin, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and coughing, shortness of breath, and inflammation and irritation in the lungs. The Coast Guard responders weren't the only ones reporting symptoms. Members of the public, like fishermen, volunteers, and residents living along the coast, all people who would have been in close contact with the water during recovery efforts, they all reported expressing these symptoms from coming into contact with these dispersants in the ocean, or from coming into contact with ocean water, and wondering why they were having these reactions. These symptoms were detailed in multiple studies, like one from the National Institute of Health, and another from the Uniformed Services University in Maryland. The Coast Guard was also keenly interested in this research, as described by Coast Guard Director of Health and Safety, Rear Admiral Erica Schwartz. About the research, the Rear Admiral said, quote, We view it as very critical for our responders. Nearly 20% of our workforce responded to the disaster, unquote. She also said that it was, quote, critical to have these studies, as there's a woeful lack of research on the effects of these dispersants in humans. Going forward, there's a strong need to reevaluate how we manage oil spills. And overall, it's a really good thing that the world seems to be moving away from fossil fuels in general, which might reduce the risk of any of these massive spills in the future. When asked about the research and the health findings, BP declined to comment. 